Welcome back to another edition of Inside the Idaho Vandals with Paul Petrino. I'm Dennis Patchen. Thanks so much for joining us. Congratulations on win number one. Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was a good day. The, you know, I was just really proud and happy for the players. They, they worked hard. They've been grinding, and it was good for them to come out and have that success and real happy for the assistant coaches. You know, they, they come to work every day. They grind. They work hard. And I thought both staffs did a great job coming up with the plan. You know, Coach Lee on defense and Coach Sinkovich on offense and then all the other assistants uh, just did a real good job. So I was happy for the assistants and the players. Talk about the game and break it down individually, but what does a win do for your football team? What's a win going to do on practice on Tuesday, on film work on Monday, on walkthrough on a Thursday or Friday? What's that going to do for you Well, guys? it just helps. It helps them believe in the process. You know, it helps them believe in how we're doing things. And so uh, I think anytime you can get that, and that's what you're here for. You know, you're here to win. That's what everybody wants to do from the day there. From your two years old all the way up, anything you do, you want to win. So um, it just really helps. It helps them believing in what we're doing. They, they've seen all the, you know, I've kind of said it every week. We, we see all the um, private victories out here on practice every day, and we see them the way the, the young men are knowing how to act and how they're uh, doing in their academics. And you see all the private victories, but it, you, you need some public victories so, uh, so that they feel good and they feel good when they walk around campus and they feel good when they walk around town. So it was good to have. First win under new coach, do you feel the team turning the corner a little bit or is that uh, a little bit too early for that? No, I, I've felt them turning the corner before it, to be honest with you. We, we've been improving um, each week. We've gotten better and better and better. So, uh, you know, I think it's just great to have it happen out there, and we just want to keep, you know, we want to win at home. That's how you build a great program. You know, you win all your games at home, and, and you want to have a great home record. And we've played two games at home and played real well in both of them, and, and you know, we're one and one. Should have won the first one and didn't quite know how to will it to victory. And then this time they found a way to will it to victory. So uh, we're on the right track. We just got to keep fighting. Do you think the Northern Illinois game helped you this past week? Um, I think it helped us because we are in a tight, tough ball game at home and in that one we just didn't quite find the way to get it done and then this time they did. Let's talk about the game and was was there one thing that you guys did was there something specific when you look back at the tape and go that's why we won this football game? Um, it was a little bit of everything I told them you know going in the night before that it really was going to come down to whoever had the most effort and then whoever didn't quit in the fourth quarter you know whoever just kept fighting and if we had great effort all day Usually if you have great effort, you win the special teams and you win the turnover margin, you know, because you make things happen. And, and I felt like we won the special teams and turnover was 0-0 zero, zero both ways. And, and that was big. We didn't turn the ball over and our defense flew around, played really well in the first half. We got some big plays. Richard helped us get some big plays. I thought Chad played great. And then we found ways to, to run the ball and, and help keep the defense off the field. And, and then in the fourth quarter, just made a couple big, you know, big plays to help us win. Chad Chalich was named the FBS Independent Offensive Player of the Week, 300 yards passing, 100 yards rushing. Talk about his performance from a, from a redshirt freshman. That's a heck of a day. Yeah, and for anyone, that's a heck of a day. You know, anytime you can throw over 300 and pass for over 100, that's, that doesn't happen a whole lot. Um, he just, he really grew. He improved. I think he's going to keep improving. Um, and some of the things that he did better, you know, people don't know, people don't see. But I think a lot of it was just, what we talked about all week, you know, believe in your eyes, see the defense and take what the defense gives you. And I, you know, I put that on a little thing and had it laminated and make him carry it around with him. So when he does that, he'll play real well and just don't predetermine anything, you know. Believe in your eyes, see the defense, take what they give you. And um, he did a good job of that all day. In a perfect world, do you want your quarterback running for 100 yards a game? Uh, yeah, if he can, that'd be great. Yeah, I mean, it's, we're, we're doing read, you know, read zone, read different mm -hmm. things, and, and when we're doing that, yeah, he needs to go get yards running, and that's, uh, you know, if we were, if it was Ryan Mallett back there or Tyler Wilson and you're just pure drop back, standing in the pocket, throwing the ball all the time, then no, you don't. But the stuff that we're doing, yeah, we do need him to do that. Austin Rico also named the FBS Independent uh, Special Teams Player of the Week. He's a young freshman kicker. Uh, what did you see out of him on Saturday? You know, he just, he, uh, he believed in his routine, you know. Um, Dr. Rand Walker met with him a little bit last week and really just tried to help him, you know, believe in your routine, believe, believe in your technique and, and relax and, and trust, trust your training, you know. And, and I think he went out there and did a great job of that and 
So that's two freshmen. Really, Chad's a freshman, he's a freshman. So that's two freshmen winning uh, Players of the Week. And, you know, if they would have had a running back catching the ball out of the backfield Player of the Week, then Richard would have won that. That's another freshman. So, that you know, it was our young guys went out and played well the other day. You encouraged by where your freshmen are right now in your first year? Oh, no question. I, I love our freshman class, you know, and I – I think you're doing something on it a little bit later and some of the freshmen that aren't playing right now that are red shirt and when they come out here and scrimmage every Sunday right. night and, and uh, you know I love those guys too it's, I think it's a great class I think they're they they've came together really well they look out for each other they take care of each other they work hard they know how it's supposed to be and, and that's when it gets really nice when when they're three years into the program then they help police all the young guys and coaches don't have to get on guys as much because the players don't let young guys not work that hard, not do the things the way that we want them done. And so I'm very excited about our freshman class. One of the guys who has had an impact on this football team who isn't a freshman is Desmond Epps. Alyssa Charleston had a chance to visit with him. Thanks, Dennis. Well, I'm here with Desmond Epps, junior wide receiver for the Idaho Vandals, who was actually just added to the Blitnikoff watch list as one of the nation's top receivers. How does that feel? Uh, I mean, honestly, I, I didn't do too much to get rewarded for it besides complete, just complete my job, my assignments. I mean, I didn't feel like, I didn't even know, honestly. I just, just got, I just got told like last week that I was awarded for this. You've actually been kind of a surprise to Vandal fans. What do you think has made you so successful so quickly here? Uh, I mean, I, every off season I just work hard. Just not dropping the ball is my main thing, like completing every pass, even if it's a hard pass or I, just, I feel like it's out of my range. I, I feel like I have to come down with it no matter what, so I mean. It's just me working hard and just staying focused and just being my eye, my eye contact on the ball when it's in the air mainly. That's what I focus on the most. Well, your coach, Coach Petrino, has actually said that you're one of the most competitive guys on the team and that hard work ethic is what has gotten you so much success. How does that feel to kind of hear him say that? And is that, is that kind of embody what you are? I mean, yeah, like I, I compete in, off, on the field. Like right now, I compete with you right now if you want to compete sometime. <laughs> but that's just me. Like I'm, I've just been a competitive person my whole life. I hate losing if it's just playing around, if it's just serious. Like, I just, I just go hard no matter what time it is. Uh, do you have any superstitions before games, getting prepared? Yeah, I got a lot of superstitions before the game. I always got to have a five-hour energy before the game. I drink a lot of Pedialyte. I got some pickle salt. You can get it. I got it in Texas when it's out there. It's a protection from cramping. Probably drink a whole jar of pickle, pickle juice. It's kind of weird, but it tastes good. So a lot of hydration, getting your body ready. And I've heard from a couple teammates that you're known to make some prank calls. Are you kind of a kind of a prankster, jokester on the team? <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean, I, I do the prank call thing. Like, I act like I'm an NFL agent, or, you know, like my, my ex girlfriend used to act like I was like a, a Mac cosmetic person from Hollywood, and act like I used to send people to uh, Hollywood and stuff. And like, yeah, you don't want to. It's, it's funny. <laughs> well, thanks for taking the time, Desmond F, standout wide receiver and professional prank caller. Back to you, Dennis. You know, earlier this year on this program, you said that Desmond Epps is a guy that maybe has slipped through the cracks and, and could have played at a higher level. What, what do you like about him when he's on the football field? Um, I'd say number one is his competitiveness. You know, he, he wants to be the best player on the field. He comes out to practice every day. He always has high energy. He likes football, you know, and I think that's when we get all 85 guys on scholarship that like football, then it makes the coach's job a lot better. You know, we got, you know, there's... That's not all the way there yet. Desmond loves to come to practice. He likes football. He likes to, to work on things and get better. And then he just has great quickness. Um, he, he's very elusive and uh, he's got good hands. So those are a lot of good qualities for a receiver. We've talked about it all year long, the Get Better Sunday practices. We're going to feature that. Plus, we're going to take a look at a very good team that's coming in here next week, or this week, I should say. That's Fresno State. That's all when we continue on Inside the Idaho Vans.